Hey folks, let me introduce you to the amazing artist, Peter Paul Rubens. This dude lived way back in the 17th century and had a wild life filled with all kinds of experiences. And you better believe these experiences influenced his awesome artworks. One of his famous paintings is The Horrors of War. This dude saw some crazy stuff during his time, like wars and battles. And you can see it in this painting, where he shows the brutality and sadness of war. It's a powerful piece that shows how Rubens felt about the horrors he witnessed. Now, let's talk about the hunt. Rubens was an outdoorsy guy and loved hunting, so it's no surprise that he painted this awesome scene. He captures the excitement and action of a hunting party, with all the dogs, horses, and dudes with their fancy hunting gear. It's a real adrenaline rush just looking at it. Speaking of action, there's the rape of the Sabine women. Now, I know the title might sound heavy, but bear with me. This painting tells a story from ancient Rome about some guys grabbing ladies for marriage. But don't worry, Rubens doesn't glorify the violence. Instead, he shows the struggle and emotion of the women. It's like watching a dramatic movie, but on canvas. Let's talk about Abraham receiving the three angels. Rubens was a deeply religious guy and this painting shows his devotion. It's a scene from the Bible where Abraham is visited by three angels. Rubens uses bright colors and heavenly light to make this spiritual moment come to life. It's like a glimpse into another realm. But Rubens didn't just paint religious stuff. Check out an African wearing a turban. Rubens was fascinated by different cultures and loved showing diversity in his art. In this painting, he portrays an African man wearing a turban. It's a cool way to celebrate different ways of life and challenge stereotypes. Now, let's talk about portrait of a lady, possibly a member of the Brandt family. Rubens was known for his incredible portraits, and this one is no exception. He was a master at capturing the personality and beauty of his subjects. In this painting, he shows a lovely lady, possibly from the Brandt family. It's elegant and full of charm. Rubens also painted historical figures like Jan Gaspar Javarsius. This dude was a famous scholar and Rubens wanted to honor him. He portrays Javarsius as thoughtful and wise, giving us a glimpse into the man's intellect and importance. And we can't forget Saint Ambrose. Rubens loved painting saints, and this one is pretty special. Saint Ambrose was a bishop and Rubens captures his holiness and grace. It's a reverent painting that shows Rubens' religious devotion. Last but not least, let's talk about a monk praying, presumably Saint Thomas Aquinas. Rubens had a deep respect for monks and their spirituality. In this painting, he depicts a monk, probably Saint Thomas Aquinas, lost in prayer. It's serene and peaceful, showing Rubens' admiration for those who dedicate their lives to faith. So there you have it, the amazing artworks of Peter Paul Rubens. From war horrors to religious devotion, his experiences fueled his incredible talent. Rubens was a true master who brought stories and emotions to life on his canvas.